Now we're going to be scanning the femoral nerve block, which is useful for hip analgesia and for knee analgesia, uh, and especially relevant for patients with fractured neck ophema or those having knee surgery uh, where ambulation is not necessary immediately postoperatively. I'm using a high frequency linear probe, and to orientate yourself, this is the anterior superior iliac spine. I'm placing the probe directly just above the inguinal crease. As I slide laterally over here, you'll see a large bulk of muscle. So this bulk of muscle on the screen here is the ilia psoas muscle. Um, you've got a very thin layer of adipose uh, on the top, uh, and then you will have the fascia lata and the fascia iliaca. So the fascia iliaca lies right on top of the surface of the iliacus muscle. At this point, we haven't even brought any of the normal landmarks into view other than the muscle. Now I'm going to slide the probe towards the midline. As I come towards the midline, the first thing I want to observe is the femoral artery. So I've got a circular, hypoechoic, pulsatile and non-compressible structure. That's the femoral artery. If I slide the probe slightly more medially, you'll see I've got a femoral vein become visible just there. So there's the femoral vein. Uh, the femoral vein is visible right over here. So femoral vein, most medial, femoral artery, and then we've got this ilia psoas muscle over here. And as I focus, bring my focus of attention in the center of the screen, you see a structure that's lying right on the surface of the ilia psoas muscle, underneath the fascia over here, and the fascia above it is the fascia iliaca. So this structure that you can see right on the surface of the ilia psoas muscle here, this is the femoral nerve. One of the key, one of the problems that people often um, make when they're performing a femoral nerve block is they're scanning too distally. I'm going to show you what that looks like. If you focus on the femoral artery, as we scan distally, you'll see the profunda femoris artery will come off. So now we've got two femoral arteries on the screen. So if you're scanning at a point when you've got two pulsatile structures, you're scanning way too low. And all I've done is move from slightly higher up above the inguinal crease to below the inguinal crease. So where two femoral arteries on the screen, you're too low, you need to move your probe more north. As you move north, you'll see a single um, pulsatile femoral artery. And actually very nicely lateral to that femoral artery now, you can see the femoral nerve lying right over here on the surface of the ilia psoas muscle. So it's not unusual when you're performing this block to see the nerve really very much pressed onto the fascia of that muscle or onto the surface of the muscle. As I slide the probe a little bit more laterally, I want you to appreciate another muscle. This muscle on the far right hand side over here is sartorius. This is iliacus or ilia psoas. Uh, and there's a fascia above that. This is the fascia lata and this is the fascia iliaca. So when you're performing your femoral nerve block, you generally tend to bring your needle in from the lateral aspect over here and aim to bring your needle from lateral underneath the fascia iliaca and surround the femoral nerve over here with local anesthetic. If for whatever reason you cannot clearly visualize the femoral nerve, it's beautifully demonstrated here on the surface of the muscle. If for whatever reason you cannot visualize that femoral nerve, one of the ways around it is to bring your local anesthetic and just deposit local anesthetic below the fascia iliaca, above the surface of the muscle, and the local anesthetic will diffuse towards the nerve. The last thing I'm going to do for completeness sake is put the color Doppler on, because it's not unusual within that area of tissue to see the lateral circumflex femoral artery. And in fact, it's not showing up on the Doppler there, but there's a structure you can see just leaving the femoral artery, and it's passing over the surface um, of the femoral nerve. That's the lateral circumflex femoral artery. You can just see it picking up on the Doppler there. So always put your color Doppler on so you can make sure you can identify any extra vasculature. But even with the color Doppler on here, hopefully you can clearly identify that um, femoral nerve lying right the way over here. So once again, there's a sartorius muscle underneath the pointer, the ilia psoas muscle, and the fascia iliaca above it. And right underneath the pointer now is the femoral nerve, femoral artery medial. Don't scan or don't do the block where there's two femoral arteries, you're too low. Make sure you've got a single structure and lateral to it, lateral to the femoral artery. That's where you've got the femoral nerve.